Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So, what are the royals going to do? Okay, William and Catherine, obviously they've got to step up. I wonder if she didn't have some really severe ulcers from some prior knowledge of what's going on that put her in the hospital. I mean, who knows? I can imagine the pressure. But uh, so William and Catherine, but then you've got to think, they've got a shrinking base of royals who can, you know, do the duties of, of being royal. And, uh, and the ones that are left are, are ancient. So who's going to help William and Catherine? Um, at a minimum, it's going to be the cousins, Beatrice and Eugenie. Um, uh, maybe Anne's daughter and her husband might step up more, although they do a lot now, uh, but more officially. Um, and then, of course, there's always the question about Harry and Meghan. So that's what uh, we'll talk about today. So that's what the video video will be about. So I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Let's just uh, start in and see what the cards are going to tell us about this whole group and, uh, and maybe consequently uh, what we can expect of the monarchy. So it's a, um, you know, a pretty strong slap in the face reminder that um, no regardless of what uh, Charles wasn't going to be there a long time and um, and just like uh, Queen Elizabeth I mean they knew that her father was ill but they didn't know he was going to die then she was being prepared but this is uh, pretty amazing so uh, that's what this will be about all the main royals and all the folks who might help them. Uh, but, you know, for, but first, for, before we do anything like that, let's have just a moment of meditation. see what the cards can tell us about all these folks. So we have to start out with uh, William. Three cards on William considering um, this monarchy situation. Just three cards to kind of give us a, uh, a which direction do we go uh, with William. So William, what do we need to know about him? So right now, oh, the devil card. So um, lesser intention. So I think there comes a time, especially if you're going to be the leader of a nation, that um, you have to put all the petty behind you and um, grudges. Uh, Seven of Cups is... Um, illusion and delusion so things may look nice to, to you William that they should go one way or the other but you also realize Jesus look at all the choices you have to make these emotional compassionate uh, sensitive choices and then uh, so uh, tied to lesser intention is not good uh, get the chips off your shoulder um, be careful about the choices because uh, a lot of it's gonna look good and the Emperor card Wow so because this is where you're going so that's advice to William, it looks like. Uh, I think it implies that he may be a little immature in his emotional state regarding his brother, considering what's at stake here. Even if his brother is wrong, someone has to rise up to the top. And wouldn't that be the king? So, which is going to be William. So, Catherine. Did, did the prospect of what's coming make her ill? Three cards. One, 
to did the prospect she did they know about Charles three cards uh, strength card so Catherine is all about strength I was saying for a long time that she carries water for that royal family and so look at this it's half lion half woman you know showing the uh, determination and the patience that um, that her position requires um, and then the second card up is the magician card is having everything at your disposal to get a thing done so um, she certainly has has come to comprehend that probably and then look again but it's again you know because she where William goes Catherine follows and the last card is being chained to lesser intention the devil card so it's something they both have to let go um, even if there are uh, you know there's no grudges that need to be held here you are going to be the king and queen so um, so what about who's going to follow who's going to fill in let's see what uh, four cards give us on Eugene and um, and her sister Beatrice escape me for a second Eugene and Beatrice together in four cards one ah two want to come out you know what we'll do, we'll do it like that Four cards, two and two. U U Eugenie and Beatrice. I don't know who's the older and who's the younger, but I'm going to do a, a Eugenie and Beatrice. First card. Well, this is celebration. Six of Wands is victory. Absolutely. Eugenie represents that, apparently. And the sun shining in. So it's everything bright and shiny for Eugenie. Uh, for Beatrice, temperance. Weighing that value. Almost an angelic um, kind of uh, knowing or you know patience perhaps Beatrice and then the page of Pentacles is uh, so Pentacles is value could be money but it's value and the page is the very least important of the royal court it is that where Beatrice is in this picture I don't know um, so one outshines the other is what it looks like with those two and then so finally let's see um, Harry and Megan in four cards Harry and Megan, because I don't think you can do one without doing the other, um, frankly. So Harry and Megan in four cards. And we'll do it again like that, two and two. Harry and Megan in four cards. Where are they in all of this? We'll see if we need to do more. And they'll be in that same. So this is Harry, this is Megan. So Harry, um, the chariot. So things came on quick. Okay. And then the thing here is this is two of swords choosing which way to go and, and you know none of the choices are easy choices to make so that's where harry is at the, in the moment megan is the sixth card the lover's card i mean this is true actually true love and then the uh other card for that is the emperor card is um she understands the import of this so it's interesting so he's uh, reactive actually uh, this thing happened. He has to choose a way to go and it looks like her uh, Ideas may be more compassionate particularly toward Harriet and even the monarchy um, Interesting, I don't think that's going to be a popular thing for me to say But we'll see what the comments dish out be kind, but uh, you know get your point across, but you don't have to be rude so I think that's all we got Hey, I'm gonna show you the cards now hang on a minute. so the light sears tarot by Chris Ann. Wonderful cards. They're very beachy. They're very now. Uh, the container they come in is really nice. It has some nice thoughts inside. And um, the cards themselves and the guidebook, all of this is good. The, um, the guidebook, although it's not in color, it's readable and uh, it gives some good ideas as to how you might uh, interpret some of these cards. Of course, you know, the interpretation is very personal, so you have to decide if those inter interpretations entirely work for you. But they're based on the Rider Waite system, and you can see that the art goes right to the edge of the cards. They're very colorful. They're very, uh, they just speak to you right away. I mean, you just, even if you didn't know what uh, uh, the symbols of the cards mean, I think anybody could look at some of these cards and think, oh, okay, this is what it means to me. Like I always say, I love to uh, have someone, if we're going to do a reading, 
kind of spread the cards out like this and then they kind of get into the game they start looking at the art and their mind sort of kind of gets into the uh into the mode of of let's get some truth out here let's get some some tarot reading done so light sears tarot really really nice cards Thank mm -hmm. you.